Hey Josh, how would I know if something is biblical or false teaching? Hello, my name is Josh Nichols and this is Monday Minute and it's Monday and guess what? It's time for your one minute encouragement. So it looks to be about that time to get your week started off with some of that biblical truth. Come on! Let's get started. This week we're in the book of Colossians and surprisingly enough, this book was also written by the Apostle Paul. And Paul is writing this letter to combat dangerous or false teaching. <gasps> Say it ain't so. Now Paul is condemning heresy, but he's also pointing people towards Jesus. Let's turn our Bibles to chapter 1 verses 15 and 17 where it tells us, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him, and he is before all things, and in him all things consist. So back to the original question, how do you discern biblical truth or false teaching? We need to spend personal time in God's Word, and we need to go to the author and the original context. And as always, if we're honest, we can always spend more time in prayer with God. Thank you for joining this week's Monday Minute. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. And you know what? If you've been blessed by these Monday Minute series, would you please just let me know down in the comments? I spend a lot of time on these and I hope that they're blessing you. So if you have any ideas for future Monday Minutes, please let me know down below. And be sure to tune in next week where we'll be in the book of 1 Thessalonians. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay blessed and get out there and be awesome. Peace!